Hey, everybody. This is Mom Blab, where we're blabbing about Chrissy Teigen, germs, and guns. And also, <laughs> we're going to talk about the top five things where you can go play indoors with your kids that you won't dread and hate. I'm Laura Nickerson here with Kristen Cruz. Kristen, what's happening, girl? Hey, you know, they talk... We Blab, brought to you by Mom Angeles, and we love to get social. Like we always say, as long as it's at home in our pajamas, we will totally hang out with you. <laughs> so tweet us. I'm at Kristen Cruz on Twitter, and Laura is at Knickerburger on Twitter. And during the show, we've got a sidebar here with comments. We totally read them. If we miss something, our awesome producer, Laura Stotland, will catch it and get right back to you. Absolutely. So we have a question a question for you. Did you hear about Chrissy Teigen's drama this week? She baby just had drama. a baby. Baby mama drama. So she just had a baby like five seconds ago. She had a cute little baby. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So cheers. the internet is all a flutter over the fact that she actually left the house with her husband and went on a date at a what? restaurant. She did what? And everybody was like freaking out about it. Like, how dare you leave your baby for like, well, you just had the baby. How dare you leave? Oh and I'm thinking, gosh. yeah, do you care? Because I personally think good for you. If you can stop the recovery process in the lower regions and get out of the house, by all means, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding? And good for her. And you know what? Got to, got to remember a couple of things here, guys. Um, they have lots and lots of help. So they're all sure. they're they're already like when we're at a week after giving birth and still just like barely doing like the army crawl to the bathroom and to the kitchen we haven't eaten or <laughs> we haven't showered in, in days. They're like they're at like month three. They're like way yeah. ahead of us. They've already got like good healthy meals happening and the trainer's been over to the house and so it's not the same. So it, you can't compare. You can't judge. True, but uh, people are are giving her a hard time saying, "Well, it's because you have all that help." Like somehow you're, oh. you're robbing your baby of that precious one on one oh. time, and yeah, I, I just that? that's no, that's just jealousy talking. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Thank you, no. Thank you very no. much. Very to eat their own mommies, stay out of each other's beeswax. Por favor. <laughs> um, but speaking of bee beeswax, I have a a problem. It's not a problem, but. It's something that I think a lot of parents may or may not think about, and I had to address it literally two hours ago, and it, it's still I'm still shaking a little with uncomfortableness. Oh, wow. Okay. My son, who's nine, is going on his first slumber party. Mm. Great. I am letting my child go because I think it's cool. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. But I had to call the parents and ask them this question uncomfortably, hey, do you by chance have guns in your home? Yep. Awkward. Well, and here, but here's, what, here's what's so sad, and because you're not the only mom who feels like that. I was at a lunch today with a whole panel of mom influencers, and uh, we, we were getting together to talk about something else, but I did bring this subject up because I knew we'd be talking it on the sh about it on the show tonight. Mm. And... Um, what really ticks us off is that we have to feel awkward about a question like that. However, we've asked, like, do you have a pool? Is the pool secure? Um, you know, is there any alcohol in the house? Will there be a parent present? Will there be an adult on the premise? Do you have dogs? Um, mm. You know, there are other questions that we've been able to ask and not have to feel weird about it. Yeah. But for some reason, this question uh, it catches us off guard. We don't know exactly how to do it. And we don't want to infringe on anybody's freaking rights. Right. And I'm so liberal that it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut. But I do. As long as your guns are thought about and in a safe and somewhere people can't get to them and they're being closely watched. But honestly, I'd prefer that they just don't have them in the house at all because so I know do? my kids would get in there. So what did I, they So what did they say? They said no. They said yes. Tell us how the conversation went. So it was it was like a bad date, you know. <laughs> oh, I was so excited. Oh, yeah. Great. Mm, <laughs> mm. Um, mm, I just have a question. It's really awkward, but I'm going to ask it anyway. And oh gosh, um, do you have guns in your house? Right. And, what they and she was a little taken aback by that. It was a little like, oh, um, well, uh, no. And she said like, oh, well, we have like BB guns. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then she said, uh, oh, we have some, you know, old guns in the safe that don't have bullets in them. But, you know, I was like, well, are they in a safe? And she said, yeah, they're in a safe. I'm like, okay. I just wanted to check. She's like, no, no, it's good that you asked. And I thought, 
most people don't even think about it, but if they don't think about it and they do have guns, my kids at my, at their age, they will get into them. No matter what I say, no matter how many times I warn them, they're, the culture is everywhere and they will get into them if they can find them. I'm sorry. That's just truth. So Jillian, who is the founder of MomCo app, which we're going to talk about because it is one of our app picks for the week um, for our hashtag busy parent apps on momangelist.com. She says, I think any rational mom would understand why you would ask that. And Thank I would you. hope so. I, I absolutely would hope so. I don't know if anybody else has been in that situation or has something. Please pop in and go ahead and, and weigh in on that. Um, yeah. you know, it, the other thing is like, maybe people don't want to reveal whether or not they have guns in their homes. Um, uh, that's a personal issue. I, I can see this getting really uncomfortable. It's incredibly. Do you ever ask that though? I mean, think about even just any play date that you go to where you're, they're unsupervised. Yeah. Well, or not supervised by you anyway. I'm like, well, <laughs> well. I never, I, you know, I am a mom who I'm the helicopter mom. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the Gen X who wish, who, I'm like the Gen X tra millennial trapped inside <laughs> the Gen X body, right? <laughs> That's me. So I have the helicopter mom tendencies because of my latchkey kid upbringing. So sure. my kids never went to a daycare. They never went to a play date ever. They don't go to sleepovers. They're still very little. I mean, I still have one in diapers. So I'm right. like, he's not going on any sleepovers anytime soon. But but you've um, never like let your kids stay like overnight at yeah. a a family friend's house or oh god no like family absolutely not really no absolutely oh, not wow no absolutely not and it's and it's and um you know I'm also uh they they've spent their first time over at grandma's house but I was there I was just in a different room. And uh, I don't know if you saw the video I posted. Did you see the video I posted about okay. the single mom who's, whose husband's sexually assaulted her 15-year-old daughter? Yeah. So it's about single moms always being sure to check and not be afraid to check if your boyfriend is on the, uh, the sexual uh, predator Zell. list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yeah. To absolutely check. So, and that was her husband. So I don't... I, yeah, I don't have, I don't, we've gone over this for how I trust nobody. My dad's a cop. <laughs> my husband's a firefighter. I trust nobody. Sure. It, it's evident in the way I parent. So I'm a little extreme. Right. Um, but there, I would absolutely ask that question. I don't even know if I would believe the answer. So no, I, I, they would never go over to a person's house though. Also probably for me, because I'm neurotic that I don't know very, 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 very well. How well yeah. you know somebody, you know. But at some point you're going to have to let them leave your sight. Uh, someday it's gonna happen. I don't. I'm not. Sure. It does, and I know because Let's someday they're gonna grow up now. and leave you. A 30 year old with mommy on his lap is not bueno. It's no good. Fine by me. It's no good. Fine with mommy. I know. Okay. All right. I know. But good for you, and yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Kim, Beth, Brian, mom. I'm so glad you came. Thanks for joining us. Yes. She said better to be safe than sorry. Obviously, but you know, and I do want to. I do want to reiterate this only because. Um, I mean, what Laura's saying is so important. So I hope that that helps you out a little bit if you're feeling weird about asking. Yeah. She did it. You can do it. It's okay. We all support you. I did it. I pulled up my she big suspenders and I asked the question and I went through the uncomfortableness and Good I'm job. glad that I did. And Absolutely. And I Absolutely. do it all the time though, because I, even if we're at a play date Absolutely. with friends, I, sometimes they, you know, go off in another room or whatever, yep. but I think I'm a little less, a little less than you are. Than I mean, me. I'm a yeah, helicopter mom, but not like you. But not like me. I'm absolutely crazy <laughs> about it. But let me just remind you. No, I'm an insane person. But let me just remind you one last thing. Yeah. Is that um, there are more drowning deaths for kids per year than there are gun deaths. Yeah. So I do want you to keep that in mind that you think that it, this is an uncomfortable situation to talk about guns. Um, if you walk into a parent's house that your kids are going to and you see that their pool is unsecured or it's not as secured as you'd like it to be, um, whether or not your child swims or whatever your comfort level is, I think you absolutely have the right to say, you know, I'm not comfortable with that either. Yeah. Even if it's a family member's house, aunt and uncle's having a party and they don't watch their pool. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we can't make it. Absolutely. It's totally okay. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's move on to something happier. Yeah. Let's, now I'm like bummed. Sorry, I brought it up. Oh, fudge. Aye, aye. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. You went there. So I did. Okay, you guys. So this is what led me to finding our germ expert for tonight. Uh, we're talking about play dates and the best play places to take your kids. Well, I got to go to what I would say is one of the premier 
indoor play places for kids and families. It is called O Fudge or Ah Fudge. And it's in West Hollywood and it's on Melrose and it's on the fabulous end where all those expensive shops are. (laughs) And um, it is- Where I don't shop. (laughs) <laughs> right, right, where we just drive past that area. Yeah. But Jessica Beale doesn't. She stopped and she built a whole thing there, aka Mrs. Justin Timberlake. And she also brought in her favorite stylist, Esty Stanley, who's also a mom, to get together and make literally the most fab play place for kids there's ever been. And I got invited to a party by the fab kids people who also dressed us up and made us look all fancy. Nice. I know, it was so cute. There are pictures on Instagram. The post will be on momangelus.com because I really want you guys to get the inside scoop on this place. I see it. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. It, it was it was better than I even thought it would, would be. Um, and we're gonna tell you all about it, but it's one of my favorite new go-to places. But even whenever you take your kids somewhere from Disneyland, which is a billion people around your kids, sneezy coughing and touching stuff, to your play place, to your Chuck E. Cheese, Oof. we think about germs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so gross. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm telling you, you think I'm a helicopter parent. There are some moms <laughs> when it comes to germs. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, so that's the truth. We wanted to, yeah, so we wanted to go out and make sure that we found the best germ expert. Yes. And he happened to hail from Canada. Yes. So Jason Anthony Tetro has written multiple books on the subject of germs. He is the man, the go-to man. He is the germ guru. And he is going to answer our questions tonight here on Mom Lab. So Jason, come on into the show and we're going to start to grill you about how gross things really and truly are. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on, look, he's in there. His picture is like, I'm thinking about the germs and how to solve about the germ problem. You are. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hello, how are you? Isn't this great, Jason? We don't even have to shake hands, which is germy, because we're oh. virtually check. We're <laughs> Fish bump it. <laughs> no. Nice to meet you. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jason, thanks so much for staying up late. Jason is in Canada, so he's up late. But he knew it was important to moms to blab about germs. Absolutely. And he wanted to share his knowledge about them with us. So, and I have yes. some I have some questions. I'm going to pull up the questions that my mom friend sent me. Okay. And Knickerberger, okay. while Knickerberger starts you off with the show. I have my first question because I have a little, I'm, by a little, I mean a lot of OCD. So I know just hearing about these things <laughs> is going okay. to linger in my life. But um, let's talk about antibacterial wipes. Uh, and hand sanitizer for those kids. Is that actually a good thing? Or are we poisoning our kid by feeding them alcohol on a daily basis on their hands? Well, in fact, there are actually two different, uh, the, the two things are different from one another. Um, antibacterial soaps actually refers to a chemical called triclosan. Um, and, and that's bad. Uh, you see, the chemical was actually developed in the 60s and, and it was considered to be an antibiotic. The only problem was it didn't work. <laughs> so right. the company decided yeah. that instead of three throwing out the the product altogether, they would sell it um, under the trademark antibacterial because it helped to stop bacteria from growing. And then they threw it into some soaps and some personal products. And then Hmm, eventually it became really popular, especially after things like, you know, pandemic flu, SARS, that type of thing. Uh, The problem is, is that the FDA has even shown that it, it doesn't do a heck of a lot. And so, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does absolutely nothing. These are the soaps. These are the antibacterial soaps yeah. that we have on the counter. Absolutely. I'm so, sad. if you look on the label and you see triclosan, um, you just leave it on the shelf. And the worst part is, here in Canada, we actually consider it to be an environmental toxin. <gasps> so, if you want to save the fishies, don't use triclosan. Okay. So, like, what common brands oh. have that in it that we usually use? Like Purell? Uh, no, no. Though, you see, the Purells are hand like, sanitizers. They're completely right. different. Oh. Okay. What so those are. Better? Yeah, those are much better because they're 62 to oh. 70% alcohol. And all it does is it goes, I love under, it. Yeah, it goes <laughs> under your hands and you wipe it and uh, it, it takes off all the, uh, the the little germs and everything that are on your hands so that mm-hmm. you're not going to you know, infect yourself by touching your face or your mouth. Uh, and more importantly, you, you know, you're not going to infect anybody else when you're you know, touching them lovingly like a child. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I also know that hand sanitizers work because I tested them in my laboratory when, uh, you know, many, many years ago when I was actually working in the labs. Uh, And to be honest with you, that was one of the reasons why you now see it in every hospital and you're seeing it in shopping malls. It it works. It does a really great job. And 
if you don't have a sink or if no soap and water, then, right. you know, the hand sanitizer is the best thing to do. And, and I think the most important thing about hand sanitizer you have to think about is that, you know, if the germ guy can actually carry it with him everywhere he goes, <laughs> wow. you, you know, it works. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, people actually ask me, you know, well, what, what's your trinket? And I'm like, well, it's my hand sanitizer. So oh, I'd like you very oh. much. Very I love nice. hand sanitizer. Okay, so so, oh, so wonderful the, stuff. This is the breakdown. So that dial antibacterial pump soft soap that you have on the counter, let's say, that's a bunch <laughs> of junk. That's not doing you any good. In it's fact, not. Not only that, it's so bad for the environment that Canada was smart enough to say that it's they don't want it. Yeah, okay. exactly. Like that. And we're Hello? starting. To, and we're starting to see companies now actually figuring out how they can add natural products, uh, natural antibacterials in it um, from, you know, plants like, you know, garlic and onion and, and, and tea tree mm -hmm. oil mm -hmm. so that they can take the triclosan out and still have the same effects. Uh, and But if you if you look at the label and you see triclosan, just just leave it on the shelf. That's really That'll good give the company the perspective that they need. Okay. okay. So I remember Karen was talking about tea tree oil last week and how great it was. So oh, yeah. maybe she's, she's on to something. The tea tree oil is good. How huh? you approve. Tea tree oil is a thumbs up. Yeah. Of I, I mean, it, any, any, of these, um, uh, any of these things that actually have anti or antimicrobial effects that have actually been proven, like tea tree oil, like oil of oregano, like uh, garlic, yeah. uh, ginger to some extent, onions, all of these things are, are fantastic, and if you can if you can distill them in such a way that you can put them into products, you can actually make them antimicrobial. And uh, we, we actually were doing some of that testing as well before I sort of left the lab after almost twenty five years. <laughs> oh my gosh, you look like you're twelve. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm forty five. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh. Well, it's okay, still well, young. you're a baby. Still young. It's the germs yeah, that keep baby. me young. <laughs> That's right. You're germ That's right. Free, and we okay, know it. So Jason Anthony Tetro is our germ expert. He is an author of many books. You can follow him at J.A. Tetro on Twitter, which is where m many thousands of people follow him to get his information. Now, Jason, I don't know if you have kids. Do you have kids? I don't no, know kids. not at the moment. Okay, not right. Not that you know of. Okay, good. Not All right. Did you have one no. at one point? Yes, that's not good. <laughs> we, uh, my, my wife and I are uh, are, are waiting for her to uh, get her professorship, and then we'll be uh, starting the family. Smart people problem. You guys sound really smart. Yeah. Good yeah. planners. Those are yeah. smart people problems. Well, and, and the thing so, is, okay. well, in my in my in my latest book, the Germ Files, I actually have like a chapter that's on childcare, and it was really funny because I have a mom who's in Ottawa, uh, about four hours here from Toronto, and she was amazing because I would be sending her all this information and all these requests, and she'd be sending me back, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> So there was there was quite a few that ended up on the chopping floor because simply they, they just didn't really apply to mothers. Well, yeah. And, you know, we have a very particular lot of people that we're all very obsessed with things like the hand dryers. So I heard oh, a God. rumor that hand dryers are not good. And that's upsetting for me because I really, you know, got used to the blade ones, you know, where you stick your hands in yeah. like that. I yeah. was feeling better about those. Are they bad? Are they moving poop about the room? <laughs> Well, you have to understand, um, and we were actually t testing this in the 90s, um, there were only three ways that you could actually dry your hands. The, there was sort of the, the uh, drip dry, uh, mm -hmm. there was the warm air dryers that never worked, and then of course there were paper towels or cloths or, you know, once you got frustrated with the warm air dryers, you, you did your <laughs> pants, right? <laughs> or your skirts. <laughs> well, anyway, um, what happened is that the paper towels uh, always outperformed the warm air dryers, so that was the best thing. Shoes off and immediately put on socks. I do okay, not. You can't ever tell me this stuff with my feet. Mm. I can't also, talk about this anymore with you. You're telling me I can't bring my children anywhere out of the house, and I can't ever sit in a in a hotel. And I'm a germaphobe who's right. going to freak out all over you right now. <laughs> yes, and when you touch buttons, do it like this. Do not do it with your finger. Do it. And then do I like mouth. push it and then lick my finger gently? Ah, like, oh, that finger you're my four year old delicious. son. Stop it. That's what gives you <laughs> diarrhea. Oh. That's, what, that's what I tell him. That's what I tell him. Don't lick that. It's what gives you diarrhea. Yeah. I God really wish I could have been in your house when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when you talk about poop in the room and diarrhea. It's so nice. It's Isn't it? 
The other thing I do in hotel rooms is I always take off the top comforter that's on that bed. You know that thing has not been washed. They don't wash comforters. Take that thing off, roll it up, and shove it underneath your bed. Or better yet, put it in the closet where you're not going to put your clothes. Your clothes are yeah. going in the closet. And uh, and then you can Lysol absolutely everything. They have purse-sized Lysols that are this big. I take it with me everywhere. My kids have thanked me at truck stop bathrooms for having mm-hmm. that little beauty in my bag. Thank you very much for the props, mama. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. So, so there's grossness everywhere. G- grossness abounds, but that's the thing is that you have to find the limit because we're so freaked out about it that our kids have no immune systems and we are afraid to take them anywhere. Uh, I mean, but my kids have been on- kidnapped and drooled and get diarrhea. Yeah, but my kids have been on cruise ships. They've been to the Caribbean five times. They've been across the nation. They've been in New York. They've been in the subway. You know, we do all that stuff. We just do it smart. You know, we just make sure it happens. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Momco app is leaving. Jillian. No, Jillian, come call in. Call oh, in real quick before quick. you go to bed. We'll answer. I know you've been calling and we haven't come answered come you, in. but we were going to answer you. Come in, Jillian. Jillian. Uh, Paige and Jillian. Dr. Jillian. Do the show. Jillian from Momco app, on, paging you to the don't set. Go, Jillian! Oh, Yay, she's calling in. Hey. Come on in, beautiful Hi, Jillian. Look at your cute picture. She looks like this in her picture. Like she's just leaning on a like on a something really fun. She's like, oh, oh you're so Thank cute. You. Look how cute you are. Hi, Hi. Judy. And you're like this. All right. Like, mm, so here's so here's the Jillian. Here's the part of the show that I want to discuss with you, Mama Sita. Yeah. So we're talking about play dates and play places. We usually do that when we get together with other moms, but we need a good thing to do. Now, this is funny. I went to one of my social media mommy tech group groups on Facebook and was asking, you know, does anybody know of any apps that make that easier? to get together with the, another mom, to schedule a play date, to meet up at a play place. And there was nothing good out there. There was only MomCo app that came up. Because Woo! we're it's the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best well, and I don't think there is anything else. No, there's not. Well, the thing is I owned an indoor playground. So oh, I don't know really? if you guys know that. So I've was got an inside track. No, and the thing is, well, <laughs> Some of them are, but like you can immediately tell, but anybody like, so a mom, if, if it's mom run and like my manager was OCD, so you can't get any better than that, but Melaleuca and I don't sell Melaleuca. I'm not trying to push anything, right. but Melaleuca, it was the products that we used because they were like, you could spray them in a kid's face. Not that we ever did that, but I, <laughs> But I've heard that's happened before um, and everything's fine. So they're all natural. They're non-toxic, but they really work. So anybody who is, you know, smart, that was my reputation. And the place that I am still exists, it's very powerful. Um, that, that's the biggest thing is we have the reputation for being the cleanest. And when you're dealing with the toddler demo, that's the best reputation yeah. to have is you're clean. Your kid's going to go there. They're not going to walk away sick. And yeah, it's true. And I have the, I have a killer immune system and Beth Bryan, who's on this, my entire team will go down hard. They'll all be sick. And I look at them like you weaklings. You have yeah. nothing, <laughs> but it's because I own an indoor playground and I was constantly just being come at it all the time. Yeah. And my immune system is killer, but it's also because I do it in a natural way. Like my son, I do homeopathic medicine with him mm-hmm. and, and I'm not crunchy. I am like not the granola mom, <laughs> You're not the granola, like, but yeah. I am no, but I am the mom who does what works. And yeah. I knew with him. You know, he'd get these crazy high fevers when he was a baby. The doctor would just look at me like, yeah, he's just got to write it out. I'm like, oh, he can't eat or walk, but sure, I'll just write it out. And I started yeah. doing homeopathy with him, and he's he's probably the healthiest kid in this school. Like, And it's it's okay. because you grow their immune systems in the right way. But I'm not getting on a soapbox. Totally not my jam. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good soapbox totally around here. Not my jam. No, I get it. But here's the thing that I love about Jillian is that you're a problem solver. Yeah. So, you know, like yeah. when there's a problem, you find a way to, you know, the best way to fix it, which is how MomCo yeah. app came, came out. 
So Momco app is our focus right now for our pick for hashtag busy parent apps. And I, I want you to explain why, because there's nobody better than the person who put all the blood, sweat and tears <laughs> and planning in the back end to make this thing run easily yeah, for us, yeah. but all the other stuff you know about. So tell us about why Momco app is so rad. Well, basically, yes, I am big into solving pain points. And for me, like when, I became a mom. This was pre Facebook days. This was pre, you know, so I literally was like hitting the pavement, like going to playgrounds, going to classes, just scouting for mom friends because I didn't have any. I was the first one of my friends to have a baby. I don't have any family in town. So I had no one. I was alone. And, and I'm very social as anybody who knows me knows. I like to talk a lot. And, um, <laughs> And when, but like people. when I got around moms, they actually like cared what I had to say. I wasn't just that annoying loud person in the room like I had been previously. And so, uh, so <laughs> yeah, so I loved like the whole community of moms, but it took me a solid like two years to really build what we like to call our village or our tribe. And, but my marriage fell apart when he was two and they, my mom friends have been my entire support system from like basically since he was born to now he's eight and they're my emergency phone calls. They're his play dates when I have to go to a conference. They're my everything. So yeah. I wanted it to be easier. So I'm a single mom. And so when Tinder first came out, my friend told me about it. I downloaded it. And when I saw the proximity feature where it tells you how far away somebody is from you, I, the first thing I thought of is moms need something like this. Not only do we need mom friends, we need mom friends that we can walk to their houses, that we don't yeah. have to put our kids in the car. Like, I feel like there's a lot of ways to find play dates or meetups or whatever, but like moms won't go because they're a pain in the ass to get to. Yeah. Like you have to put your kids in the car. It's like we get put into a cold sweat and it's like a workout just trying to get out of the house. So much stuff you have to, yes. and so many, yeah, so much preparation. But if you can build a village that lives within like walking distance of your house, it is the greatest gift any mom can have. I always say you can have seven Maseratis and be miserable, but if you have like two or three mom, like solid mom friends that live close to you, you're the happiest woman on the planet. I like, totally agree. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I created MomCo for moms to be able to not just locate, but connect and then meet up with potential mom friends. So we do it like moms can connect on the app, but we get it. Not every mom is as bold and forward as I am that we also do these amazing play dates, totally free. Like my goal with mom co is like, I want it to be a happy place for moms where nothing is asked of them, where we just <laughs> give them things. Cause like, there's so many platforms that focus on how you can be a better mom or like yeah. how you can have happier kids. I was like, let's focus on something that makes moms happy. Cause if mom's happy, everybody's happy. Everybody is Let's happy. Real. I totally agree with you on that. So if is it like a Google map? Do you put the app in and then you go like, I people near me, mothers near me? No, How it's the them? beauty of technology. It's we don't like to we don't pin our moms like like next door does because I just that kind of creeps me out. Like people knowing yeah. exactly. I don't like that. So safety is our number one at the forefront of everything that we do. So we're not that bold, but we tell you how far away somebody is away from you. So like for me, I have over like 200 moms that I know with that live within a mile of my house. I don't, I can't like find their address, but like I know they're close by. And so that's what we do. So we, we allow moms to find not just moms, but also play dates, events, everything is proximity based. So everything that's closest shows up first. And then you can always use search features to like refine to like say I just want to find moms that have eight-year-old boys because that I have an eight-year-old boy I have not and yeah so it's like so you can do that too so we it's the best of both worlds but for me I mean I've got a friend that lives across the street on both ends of my house and it's it's a godsend it's like one of them was out of town for a couple of days and I'm like, wait, I'm like trapped at my house. I don't have another house to go to or other people to talk to. This is horrible. Oh man. All right. Well, Jillian, I'm so glad that you created mom co app. By the way, she's on the cover of a, are you on the cover of like family oh, magazine yeah, yeah. or something? Can I see? 
Bam. What? What? Smack. The cover model. What um, don't you do? Stop showing off. Like, do you have no, that again? but the cool thing is, I mean, it's like it. People are like, "Who's your PR person?" I'm like, "I'm. I don't like. I just work my ass off. Like, just work people your. People love ass. Herb and love her. Yeah. That's just. That's, you make a good product. You build it, and they will come. Yep. And they do. And go, they do. Go to at Momco app. Follow Jillian on Twitter, but more importantly, go download the app and get your stuff together. It's going to make your life so much easier. Every parent should know about it. We uh, do not get paid to say this. We just want everybody to know about the app because we love moms. And we, we know that this can make it better. So that's it. Mm. Good stuff. Thank you Thanks, so much. Jillian, go to bed. What are you doing so early in the morning? Going in another news show or something down in San Diego? What are you doing? I work from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep. <laughs> pretty much. Wow. Well, and we've That's got crap. the Mom 2.0 conference, so I'm trying to I'm trying to pack in like a week's worth of work in like two days. But that's right. pretty typical for my yeah. life. But I'm like I'm starting to teeter a little bit, or I'm like, okay, guys. well, go get some sleep, woman. <laughs> Thank you for staying up and chatting with us. All right, no, thanks for having me, ladies, and I will see you there. Will I see you later this week? Yes, you will definitely see me later this week. We have lots of friends that are speaking on panels, so we will be seeing you. Yes. All right, ladies. Have Yay. a great night. Bye, gorgeous. Thank you. Me. Bye. Woo! Let's give her some props. <laughs> Poppy, prop. Jillian is the founder of MomCo App. MomCo App. I'm reading about it because I love her and I love her. I love her too. Uh, Mom Angelus. So, anyhow, so Laura Nickerson. Yeah. I um. I am really bummed that we lost our germ guru because I still had some more questions for yeah. him. But what we're going to do for you guys is we're going to tweet him these questions and get him to answer back. Cause I had some toothbrush cleaning questions yeah. from another mom friend of mine and what to do. She, she uses bleach on her doorknobs every night. Is that good um, or not? I don't know. Jason, Jason would. Jason so would we're gonna tweet him some, so it will we'll hashtag mom blab with all of these questions and answers. So you can just catch up later while you're cruising through your Twitter feed, put in your hashtag mom lab and we'll see what Jason has to say for us. That sounds so great. I think it's time. Is it time for the uh, mom Angeles best of LA top five for the week? Oh my goodness. I believe it is. Get us rolling. K Cruz. <laughs> all right. Every week. Kristen and Laura love to bring you the best of LA top five in five minutes or less. These are our five picks that are happening in Los Angeles with more links and reviews on momangelus.com. This is our top five best indoor play, play places for kids that we enjoy too. Giggles and Hugs, which is in Woodland Hills, Glendale, Century City, and more. Hello, healthy food for kids, wine for moms. <laughs> Need we say any more? Socks required for everybody. Even our germaphobic people will love that. Fun, music, activities, equipment, and of course, a fantastic staff. So make sure you check that out. Oh, fudge. Yes, that's off fudge. It's all the rage and we ho. And we think the gourmet grilled cheese is literally melted gold between two slices of organic, locally sourced whole grain bread. That's basically what you're getting. It's fancy schmancy. And Jessica Beale owns it with her stylist, Esty Stanley. She's fabu. Both of them are. Um, I have a bunch of Instagram pics for a private party that I attended thanks to fabkids.com. Over the weekend, you can look at more of this at momangelus.com with my full review of Oh Fudge while I take you inside and show you around. The coop is in, uh, it's in the valley, but it's totally like a Silver Lake-esque kind of feel. It's got two SoCal <laughs> girls who put it together. It's this kind of like indie cool, hip, eco cheek vibe. Uh, flows through the whole place. It's on Ventura Boulevard. It's just off the freeway at Universal and they have a coffee bar, cute little gift shop, outdoor patio. It totally looks like a Pinterest post and they throw a fantabulous kid's birthday party that the adults actually will enjoy. Yes. Sky High makes the list. Now, I know you think, wait, the jumpy place? Yes, that's the <laughs> one. It's the trampoline place, but you can love it too. I know you're thinking stinky feet and too much jumping up and down, but if you just wait, I am going to write a little more for you on momangelist.com about how you can really get the best out of it. I mean, for instance, did you know that there's actually a adult, an adult room 
where you can go and watch TV and sit in a massage chair oh. while your kids go jump and play. And oh, by the way, there's a 100% healthy foods uh, coin machine <laughs> for snacks. So you don't have to just buy a bag of Cheetos. They actually have like hummus and carrot sticks in there too. So believe me, we'll break it down for you on momentalist.com. You too can enjoy Sky High. And right next to the Sky High in Woodland Hills, especially, there's a place called Glow Zone. So this is right next to it. There's a secret there because it is a black light glowing facility. It's got everything you could possibly imagine, a rock climbing wall and a ropes course and miniature golfing. And and then they also have this cool little hidden room called Soft City, and that's for the little ones. So even though you can send your big kids off to go play and be very rambunctious, the little ones still have a safe place to go. And you can go back and forth and enjoy them both. It's a cool uh, place for the entire family. Yeah, that's our top five best of LA, five under five with Kristen and Laura. We bring it to you every week to help families have fun and find the best things that LA has to offer from momangelist.com. Gotta love it. Well, I think it might be time. Is it time for us to go to bed? It's it, baby. <laughs> that's it, babe. That's, that's all we've got. I gotta go bleach my door um, handles. I know, right? <laughs> but only if Jason says it's okay. Thanks again to our special guest, the germ guru, who from hails from Canada, has written many books, has thousands of followers on Twitter. Please find him, uh, Jason Anthony Tetro. Thank you for coming on and answering questions. Um, thank you, Jillian, the founder of MomCo app. Download it, use it. It's fabulous. And so is she. You'll be seeing a lot more from her. This week is Mom 2.0. If you haven't gotten in, you can tweet us and ask us any questions you want about it. We have lots of friends who are going to be there. So, yay! Hey, hey. So, uh, find out whatever you need from us. We'll be your sources. Absolutely. And don't forget that some change is in the air. Can you smell it? I you thought that it? was just the, the, my dog pooed it's, on the rug again, but it might be change in the air. I smell, um, well... Dirty because kid it. socks. And I also smell a new time for us. So we mm -hmm. love joining you on Mommy Mondays, but we're going to take it a little earlier so that you can all play with us after you do drop off. We're starting at 1030 a.m. on Mondays starting next yeah. week. So we'll miss you here at this time slot, but make sure that you come visit us at 1030 in the morning or just catch us on the replay. Uh, and by the way, don't forget to follow us on social media, right? What's your handle, Kristen? I am at Kristen Cruz on Twitter, on Instagram, on anything that you can think of. I'm on Snapchat. Honey, you can find me anywhere. Um, at KristenCruz.me is my website. And of course, everything I do ends up on momangelist.com. You got to go to momangelist.com. You can find everything we've been up to and more. And you can find me at Knickerburger on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, not Tinder, but Tumblr, maybe. I don't know. Pretty much. <laughs> you gotta get a break, Pinterest? I mean, seriously. Yeah, and definitely right here on Mom Blab. They talk, we blab. We will catch you next week, 10.30 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Get some sleep. Go to bed. Go to bed, people. Go to bed.